I'd like to show you how SOLIDWORKS Composer provides a convenient way to reuse your existing CAD models so you can create high quality technical illustrations. Now whether you're a CAD user or not, Composer is easy to use and it can help you make just about any kind of graphical content that you might need. In this demonstration, let's imagine that we need to document the disassembly procedure of this bench grinder assembly so the user can replace the wheel. We'll use Composer to generate all the high quality images that we'll need and then publish that out into a final Word document. To demonstrate the typical workflow in SOLIDWORKS Composer, I'll break the demo into three segments. First, we'll see how to show the steps for the disassembly sequence. Next, we'll add the special effects that will communicate the procedure to the end user. And finally, we'll publish the content out into a Word document. So in this first demonstration segment, let's see how Composer can help us quickly stage our model into various scenes and alternate positions. That'll help us show the steps for the disassembly sequence. As we open SOLIDWORKS Composer, I've got a project already in progress where I've opened up my SOLIDWORKS assembly. Now you can think of SOLIDWORKS Composer as a virtual photo shoot. We just stage the model into different positions or orientations and styles and we capture a snapshot. Now these snapshot views that you see on the left, these are like scenes that capture everything you see in the graphics area, like the camera position, the shading style, the component visibility, and so on. Now let's take this first scene and let's make it look a little bit more realistic, maybe by changing the shading style, experimenting with some environmental effects like lighting and shadowing, and even put a nice reflective ground on this. And right away, uh, we're, we're able to create a more realistic appearance. Uh, let's finally just add a little bit more perspective to that. And in a short time, we've got a nice, lifelike looking view that's going to make a great cover image for our manual. Well, now let's create three more scenes that will help us detail out this disassembly procedure. So first, I'll select the cover and the five screws. And using the on-screen handles then, we can just translate those components into position where we want them to be to set up our explode sequence. And that's looking great. Let's capture a new snapshot or a new scene. Now in the second scene, we'll hide the components that we just exploded. And I'd like to focus in on this nut that you see here. Uh, that will show the user exactly how to remove these additional components. Let's experiment with a couple different shading styles though to make this a little bit more clear. I really like this flat technical style which gives it almost a cartoon like appearance but it's the that high contrast that you see there that makes this a really good style for creating work instructions or assembly instructions. Well I'm pretty happy with that close-up view so I'll just capture that as a scene as well. Now for our final scene Let's create a, a, a view that will show the explode sequence for the components of the grinding wheel itself. So we first begin by just dragging out the, the wheel components and then I'll just use the explode tool. Watch how it automatically spaces out those components which makes it great for creating ex, uh, exploded views. Now for a final touch let's just change the shading style to give it more of a hand drawn type of a look. Well, that's looking great, and that's really going to help our, our uh, end user understand exactly what components are involved in this procedure. So we just saw how Composer made it easy to stage the model into any position, to display any style that we want, and to show those assembly steps so that we could easily communicate that process. And we did it all without relying on any screenshots from our CAD system, and we didn't have to take any digital photos. Now for this next demonstration segment, let's revisit the three scenes we just created, but this time let's go back and add some special effects. So watch for things like explode lines and clip art, arrows, and even other 3D models or props that might help us add clarity to our instruction scenes. Let's go back to our first instruction step. We created the exploded view, so let's now take the hardware items and let's add the explode trails. And that gives us a good picture of how the hardware lines up with the cover. But at this point, I really can't tell whether we're installing the hardware or removing it. We'll use the built-in image library in SOLIDWORKS Composer to help us add some 2D clip art to illustrate this step. 
the image library that you see over here on the right, you can think of it as a, a way of storing all kinds of reusable 2D content, such as instruction symbols or other graphics. And I've got a, a screwdriver symbol here that I'm just going to drag into my scene, locate and resize as needed. Now with the cover removed in our second step, we can now focus in on how to remove the nut. You know, one way to do that would just be to type in a text box and, and instruct the user what tool needs to be used and how to perform that step. But Composer pri provides us the ability to insert other 3D models right here into our scene. So let's take advantage of that. Out on the internet I found a 3D model of an adjustable wrench. I inserted that into my composer scene and just positioned it where I wanted it to be and now it makes it really easy for me to take advantage of other props or helper models that help me uh, communicate a certain process. Now to make sure that the end user knows exactly which direction to loosen this nut let's use an arrow tool. Watch as I drag this circular arrow. As I hover over one of the circular edges on the model you'll see that arrow align itself right along the axis which makes it really easy to get a nice polished and professional look. Then I'll just use the handles to adjust the size and position of that and finally for a little extra polish we can apply favorite styles from our built-in style library so that that way all of my annotations can have a nice consistent look and feel. Now in our third explode step Let's include a parts list so we can tabulate all the components that are involved in, in this procedure. Composer reads in all the custom property information that I might have in my SOLIDWORKS model, such as part numbers, descriptions, and so on. I can easily insert those and format that in a table any way that I like so that I can display exactly the information that I want to present to the customer. Composer also provides the ability to automatically call out those items. Let's just do a little bit of cleanup on this. And one way that I like to get my arrows nice and aligned is to take advantage of the magnetic line feature. Watch as I drag this magnetic line how the, the callouts will automatically snap into position. I can even line that, that magnetic line up so it's on the same line or axis as my model. And for one last special effect, we can't quite tell from this view whether we're removing those components or installing them. So let's add a linear arrow. As I hover over the axis of any of these parts, you'll see how the arrow snaps right along the axis. It even hides itself behind other components. And finally, let's return to our style library to apply a consistent style. So everything has the same look and feel. Now our end user knows exactly what to do with this step. So Composer has made it easy for, for us with the use of multiple special effects to help us explain complex procedures and we can do it with more pictures and fewer words. Well in our final demonstration segment let's create some high resolution images from those Composer scenes and let's link them up into a Word document instruction manual. We'd really like to get away from the old style of manuals where there's a lot of text not too clear of instructions, and pretty bad graphics. Let's see if we can improve on that. Hopefully you'll see how Composer can speed up the process and at the same time capture all my favorite styles and formats. Well, SOLIDWORKS Composer can really streamline the process of saving out our images. And we can do so into any high quality raster or vector format that we might want. One nice thing is that I don't have to remember all of my pixel settings, DPI settings, and aspect ratios. I can simply save those all as style favorites, and then I just choose from the drop-down list for any of my favorite styles. This way, all my favorite settings are retained. And SOLIDWORKS Composer gives me quick access to other settings, like consistently removing the ground and setting the background to white. I'll just specify a location and an image type and SOLIDWORKS Composer will save out all of my images to, to match those settings in one simple batch output operation. Now let's move over to our Microsoft Word document. In Microsoft Word I've already got a layout of what I want my document to look like and I've put in some placeholder images. We just now need to update the links to those images 
so that they are replaced by the high quality images we just saved out from SolidWorks Composer. And just like that, in one step, our graphics are inserted and we have a polished and professional looking manual. But wouldn't you know it, at this point we, uh, we find out from engineering that there's a design change. They've added some embossing to the cover, we've added some venting, and they've moved the location of the power switch. We've been supplied with a new SolidWorks CAD model, but what is, what's our workflow going to look like in order to have to update all of those views and special effects that we've created? Well, let's have a look. In SolidWorks Composer, any time a model change comes about, we can just run the update command, browse to the new location of the new file, here's revision 2, and just by hitting that update command, SolidWorks Composer will automatically update all of our geometry and all the views that we've created to this point are still intact. As a final step, we just save out our images one more time, overwriting the old images, return to our Word document, and update the links. And now everything is up to date with our new version of the CAD model. So when it comes to creating output and linking it to our final published document, that was really easy, but we also saw how Composer seamlessly updated to account for the design change in the CAD model. All our scenes were intact, and the end result is some great looking output with the confidence that everything is going to update. So let's just quickly review. We went through three workflows to produce our instruction manual. First, we staged that virtual photo shoot and showed all the steps for our procedure, and we did it without any screenshots or digital photos. Next, we added some special effects to help us detail out those complex procedures using pictures instead of words. And finally, we made some great looking output, published our Word document, and we saw that all the work that went into staging those scenes updated automatically when the SOLIDWORKS model was changed.